Hello and welcome to my channel Econ Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to estimate and interpret 2SLS model using IV regress command in Stata. So do like the video and subscribe to my channel. So first of all, I will show you my variables. I have already imported variable in Stata and from there we can see this is age and this is average education. This is compulsory attendance and H education is the highest education this is wage um, and this is SOR state of residence and air here the wage variable is the independent uh, sorry here the wage variable is the dependent variable and the highest education the state of residence and the age is the independent variable and also air is also an independent variable this is air of census and um, this average education is an endogenous variable and we have taken this CA which is compulsory attendance in school as an instrument variable so now we'll right away straight go to the command section and we will run um, our 2SLS model for running our 2SLS model we will write IV R E G R E W -S, S. Uh, so this is I V regress, and then we write two S L S, and then the name of the dependent variable, which in this case is wage, and then the name of all uh, independent variables, age, uh, highest education, uh, state of residence, and air, and first we will like uh, we have written the iv regress and then 2sls and then the name of the dependent variable and then the name of all the independent variables and after that we will open the parenthesis and in the parenthesis we will write the um, all our endogenous variable which in this case is only one that is average education uh, this is this variable is average education um, we can write as many uh, endogenous we can write uh, all the endogenous variable here in this case I have only one endogenous variable so I have written only one endogenous variable and after uh, after uh, writing all the, the name of the endogenous variables we will press equal to sign and then we will write the name of the um, instruments uh, which in this case is only one if there is more than one instrument we can write it here so our all model will be IV regress to SLS the name of dependent variable and then the name of independent variables and in the parenthesis first we will write the name of endogenous variables uh, which in this case is only one you can write mm, uh, more than one if there is more than one in your model and then we'll press e equal to sign and then the name of the uh, of all the uh, instruments remember instruments must be equal to or greater than the endogenous variables so in this case it is equal to endogenous uh, it is equal to endogenous variable the endogenous variable is one and instrument is one so um, our model will be okay and we'll close the parenthesis and we'll press enter so this is our mm, so this is our model this is our estimation of 2SLS model you can see that the instrumented which is uh, this is our endogenous variable and uh, this is our instrument and these all are our um, uh, these all are our independent variables so these all worked as our instruments um, in this case so now we will interpret this model we will first we will check the probability value of the um, of the overall model so the probability value of chi square is 0 
zero uh, percent which is less than five percent so our all model is significant in this case and the r square is 46 percent you can see that from here which means that the um, these variable show these independent variables ever uh, these independent variable shows 46 percent variation in this dependent variables so again the r square show how much these independent variable uh, how much these independent variable show variation in this dependent variable so in this case the r square is 46 percent so which means that 46 percent of variation in this uh, dependent variable are shown by these independent variables moving forward we will now uh, look at the probability values the z stat and the coefficients so the probability value if the probability value of a variable is less than or uh, is less than 5% or less than 0 0.05 we say that this variable is significant so in this case we can see that all variables have a probability value of 0% which is less than 5% so uh, we can say that all variables are significant in this case we can also confirm this um, from the z stats if the z stat is uh, greater than or equal to 2 in absolute form so we will say that this variable is significant so from the here we can see that um, all variable z stats of all variables are greater than 2 percent uh, sorry the z stat of all variables are greater than 2 in absolute form so we will say that all variables are significant in this case the coefficient shows how much um, one um, how much the dependent variable will move with the independent variable so in this case we can see that the um, every variable uh, doesn't have a negative sign so it means that the average education um, have a positive impact on wage rate and from the coefficient we say that if the average education increased by 1% then the wage will be increased by 0.33% and um, with the highest education we say that if the highest education is increased by 1% then the wage rate will be increased by 0.07% so this is from today's tutorial you can watch my other videos on my channel and you can also watch uh, step by step method of 2sls from my channel also so do like the video and subscribe to my channel bye for now